Hey everyone, welcome back to the Golf House. If you've been here before, if you're new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I'm Jenny and today I am working on dry mixes. So I have a ton of ideas for you. So I decided to just kind of make this a segment. I don't know if I'll be posting it weekly or every two weeks, but this is gonna be part one of dry mixes and I'm gonna do five mixes for you in this episode today. Let's get started. First one I'm gonna do is my buttermilk ranch powder. This recipe is adapted from the Pioneer Woman's, but I did hers and I didn't think it had enough flavor, so I changed it up um, a lot. <laughs> and I adapted my own recipe from hers. So the first thing I'm gonna add in here is the cultured buttermilk powder, okay? This, make sure if you purchase this, that you, after you open it up, you keep it in your refrigerator. Um, this really only lasts for about a year and if you don't keep it in your refrigerator and you open it up it is going to set like a brick in your cupboard and you won't be able to use it anymore so it says right there refrigerate after opening I have lots of people say they never do um, yeah it will turn into a brick it happened to me twice before I finally read it and realized it had to be refrigerated <laughs> anyway if you refrigerate it, it sure keeps nice, and I'm at the end of it here. So, um, no brick. One tablespoon of dried parsley. One tablespoon of dried dill. Two teaspoons of dried chives. One and a half tablespoons of garlic. If you don't like garlic as much, you can totally cut back. I like a garlicky um, ranch, always. A teaspoon of salt. And this one is kosher salt. You can use sea salt, Himalayan pink salt. Half a teaspoon of black pepper. Mix this all together. This one needs to be stored in the refrigerator because of the buttermilk. I have this container and this is what I store it in. I keep this in my refrigerator all the time. Because this is something we use a lot of. When you go to use this, if you wanna make dressing out of it, um, use one quarter cup out of here, one cup of mayo, a half a cup of sour cream, and a half a cup of milk. And that's how you make the dressing. If I want to turn this into the Mexican style um, ranch dressing, I use a quarter cup of mix, one cup of mayo, half a cup of sour cream, and I use a half a cup of salsa instead of milk. And it's so good on taco salad. We made the ranch dressing mix. We're now gonna just make some ranch seasoning mix that we can just keep right in our cupboard. Um, and use it in all kinds of things and that way it's not the complete dressing mix with the milk but I did want to mention in the dressing mix if you don't like plain old ranch jalapeno powder you can put jalapeno powder in your ranch and make jalapeno ranch lighthouse makes a jalapeno ranch that's fresh it's so good you can put this in or you can mix it in if you want to change it up um, and add more seasoning so you can put this in, you can put cilantro in, you can put cumin, you can put, um, or you can use a packet of taco seasoning in there or you know, a scoop of your homemade taco seasoning in your ranch dressing mix, um, as well as the salsa, so good. I just wanted to give you those suggestions really quick. We're now just gonna make some seasoning mix. I'm gonna do two tablespoons of onion powder. Three tablespoons of garlic powder. You're gonna want two tablespoons of dill. I'm gonna throw in two tablespoons of chives, which it technically wouldn't really be two tablespoons, a little under, but oh well. 
and I'm going to put in two teaspoons of salt, two tablespoons of parsley. Okay. And then this is just plain old ranch mix. Now I like to do this way also and keep this in my cupboard because I can sprinkle this on potatoes. You can put it into your potatoes. Um, you could do, you know, when you're roasting vegetables, sprinkle this over your roasted vegetables while you're roasting them. Um, you can easily throw this into, you know, a tablespoon, a teaspoon into any sauce, anything you want. Um, sprinkle your meat with it before you grill it, before you bake it. Um, whatever you like that's a ranchy. Here is your just plain old ranch seasoning mix. This is your bonus recipe, by the way. There's really only five recipes today. This is just a bonus recipe. So the ranch seasoning mix from the ranch dressing mix. Okay, here's your bonus bonus recipe. I took one third of my ranch mix that I just made and I am going to add to this a tablespoon of chili powder, a teaspoon of cumin, and then I have a tablespoon of Mexican oregano, but I need to crush it up. You can also put this through your um, spice grinder if you want. And then I'm putting a half a teaspoon of jalapeno powder in. This is my jalapeno powder from my good friend Linda over at Linda's Pantry. She sent that to me. Okay, and then there is my spicier Mexican version of a ranch seasoning. The, that seasoning mix is so good on roasted red potatoes. I call them taco potatoes. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I store them in these. I just washed them, so they're, they're not ready yet. Um, but these are the little Tupperware containers. So these are what I store my ranch seasonings in. Italian dressing mix. Two tablespoons of garlic powder. I'm going to do four tablespoons of onion powder. Two tablespoons of dried parsley. I've got some dried oregano here. I need two tablespoons. I want one teaspoon of black pepper. Two tablespoons of dried basil. And I'm going to use ground thyme in this because um, thyme leaves get kind of hard. So I'm going to use ground thyme, a quarter teaspoon. Actually, it was a little under a quarter teaspoon. And two tablespoons of kosher salt. One heaping tablespoon of granulated sugar. And I've got a half teaspoon of celery seed. And this is how I make my Italian seasoning dressing mix. This is also a good seasoning to put over anything you want. Excellent on vegetables. I love to use this for pasta salad, salad, bread salad. Oh my gosh. Lots of things. Um, even sprinkling over roasted vegetables. But if you want to make the dressing, and this dressing makes a really good marinade, I will say you're going to mix two tablespoons of this with a quarter cup of vinegar and a half a cup of olive oil. Oh my gosh, so good. And also, I like to add in a teaspoon of Dijon mustard to that mix. That is optional, but it's so good. I forgot my minced onion. <laughs> I like minced onion in mine. So I'm gonna put in two tablespoons of minced onion. Oh my gosh. Store it in an airtight container, just like the rest of your seasonings. This will keep for a long time. The next one I have for you is probably my favorite among all of them. My favorite mix. It's my favorite because this is a cream of whatever you want mix. We're going to make the cream base and then you can add whatever you want to it at any time. So I make the cream base and I keep it separate from the rest of the ingredients. I keep my dry milk powder stored in a 64 ounce mason. 
I need two cups of dried milk powder. To thicken that, we're gonna use 3 fourths cup of cornstarch. You can use flour, but you'll have to use um, two cups of flour instead of 3 fourths cup of cornstarch. I prefer the cornstarch way. Next, I have the Knorr Chicken Bouillon. This is the powdered unit. You guys know I love this stuff. It's my very favorite ingredient. I have gallons of it out there. <laughs> I'm gonna use a whole fourth a cup for this. Flavor, I tell you. And then I'm gonna use minced onion and I'm gonna use a quarter cup of minced onion. A tablespoon of parsley, and that's a loaded tablespoon. And a tablespoon of onion powder. No salt. I'm not using salt because the bouillon has salt in it. Okay, there's my cream of whatever you want soup powder. Now, if you wanted to go ahead and make this plain or you wanted to make several batches up of with mix-ins, here's the thing. Thrive uh, chopped chicken, the freeze-dried chicken, you could totally mix a um, cup and a half of this in that. You could even put this through like a food processor and chop it up a little bit more and put it in there if you wanted a little bit more fine. So you could do cream of chicken mix that way. Um, you could use celery. If you don't buy Thrive, you could use your uh, home dried celery. So if you dehydrate your own stuff or you have your own freeze dryer, definitely use it. But you could put in a cup and a half of um, your own celery or mushrooms. I have Thrive mushrooms. I also dehydrate my own, which I need to do some more. I actually prefer my own home dehydrated mushrooms. I love these things. Um, I love the texture of them. They take, they take on a little bit different texture. Um, so you could chop your mushrooms and throw those in cup and a half and make your own cream of mushroom. You could be, you could make your cream of whatever you like. What if you like spinach? If you've got your home dried spinach, crinkle them up, throw it in. Onion, the same way. If you wanted to put an extra onion, I put some onion in there, but you could definitely put more. So whatever cream of soup you like the most, you can make up exactly this way but I'm gonna leave mine plain because then I can use a little bit of this in whatever else I'm making and I can add my flavors then. So if I have fresh bacon and I wanna make my own cream of bacon soup, I can do that. When I mix this up, I'm gonna use a one half a cup of the mix and then I'm gonna use a cup and a half of liquid. You can use a cup and a half of water. If you wanna make it extra creamy, you could use a cup and a half of milk. You could use uh, a cup of milk and put in a half a cup of heavy cream. So whatever you want to mix it in and then you just uh, mix it up cold and then bring it to a boil until it thickens. Bring it to a boil, turn it down, let it simmer until it thickens. And then you can, again, like I said, if you've got fresh ingredients, add them in then. Store it in an airtight container such as a mason jar. Onion soup mix. Now, onion soup mix, here is something I use a ton of. Okay, I am using a half a cup of beef bouillon, and this is the Knorr. You can use whatever kind of beef bouillon powder you, you prefer. Dried onions, I'm gonna use the Thrive onions. You only because I've been using the other onions and the rest of the stuff. So I'm using one cup of Thrive chopped onions, but you can use the dried minced onions or your own dried onions if you prefer. One fourth a cup of onion powder. It is after all onion soup mix. Tablespoon of dried parsley. I got a half a teaspoon of paprika. This is just the regular paprika. One teaspoon of black pepper. And I've got a quarter teaspoon of celery seed. I added a teaspoon and a half of garlic powder and there is our onion soup mix. Using three tablespoons of this is about even to one packet of onion soup mix. I like stuff stronger so I probably use four tablespoons. You can use this in your meatloaf, your meatballs. You can use it to make dip. You can use it to season potatoes. 
You can use this to make soup. However you like to use your packet of onion soup mix, same thing. Beefy mushroom soup mix is the last one. One half a cup of the beef bouillon. Quarter cup of dried onion. And I am using the Thrive onions for this, but again, you can just use your own home, your own home dehydrated onion or the minced dried onion. I'm using one tablespoon of onion powder, a teaspoon and a half of garlic powder, one tablespoon of parsley, a teaspoon of black pepper, about an eighth of a teaspoon of ground thyme, and then dried mushrooms. I'm gonna use a cup. A quarter teaspoon of celery seed, and a half a teaspoon of paprika. Okay, so here's the thing. My mushrooms are bigger, so I have to be mindful of that when I use this. But, I could put this in my spice grinder and grind my mushrooms down. And that's probably a better idea. So keep that in mind. Grind your mushrooms down. Also, Trader Joe's sells that mushroom powder. That would be really good in here. I would put like two tablespoons in here of that. I'm gonna try to crush these up a little bit, but I don't think I want them in, into dust. These freeze dried ones break easy, but throw your um, dried, like if you home dry them in your dehydrator, throw those in the food processor. Those are a little bit harder. I know, cause I do both and I love them both. And if you make homemade mushroom powder, you could totally use that too. And you use this just like the beefy mushroom soup packet. And there are my five mixes. When you make them at home, you can alter them any old way you want to and add more or less of anything you like. I'm gonna store this in an airtight container. All of these mixes, um, the soup mix, the ranch dressing mix, other than the ranch seasoning mix and the Italian seasoning mix, those seasoning mixes will last for about a year. These soup mixes, you're probably gonna to wanna to use up within six months. Okay, so that's our five mixes for today. Hopefully you enjoy these and you try them out yourself. I will put the link for all of these dry mix recipes in the description box below for you. That way you can go to my blog and on my blog, I put everything in a printable recipe card for you to make it easy. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It really helps me out a lot and I sure do appreciate your support. You can find me on Instagram at JennyGoff18. I'm also on Facebook, and you can visit my blog for all of my recipes, including these, at JennyGoff.com. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.